I've been drinking iced coffee lately, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a short video. It's just gonna be my my foundation routine. It's just gonna be like a simple routine on how I apply my foundation. So I already went ahead and prepped my skin and if you haven't seen my morning routine, you should definitely check that out. Um, you'll see everything that I use in the morning to prep my skin. So, um, so let me just go ahead and show you real quick what it is that I use. I use the Truth Serum after I wash my face. Um, I go in with the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream and then the banana eye cream and these are from I like I said in my last video I'm not gonna butcher it but there's a name there and I got this in a little set at Sephora and so far um I feel like it's pretty good like I feel like it's brightening up my skin a lot I've been really consistent with taking care of my skin and whatnot but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the elf poreless primer putty and I have been loving this stuff, dude. You guys, I went and I picked up another one. like, But I had to open it because a friend of mine wanted to see what it was. And I was like, well, there's a video on my channel. And she's like, can you just show it to me? So I just went ahead and opened it. But anyways, I've been loving this, this putty. I've already, like, dug through it pretty well. So then I just go ahead and I apply it on my face and then I rub it in now this one it is very comparable to the Tatcha and like I said in one of my videos I did um I feel like it's very similar like the texture is very similar the, the color is very similar the only thing it I feel like the only difference is the scent like this one has no scent at all like it has no scent at all but the Tatcha one does it has like a, a really like perfumey smell I really really like this primer and it's only eight bucks compared to the Tatcha. I can't remember if I paid like uh, I don't remember the price. I'll look it up and I'll link it down below. But if you want a dupe for the Tatcha primer, of course go ahead and pick this one up because it's really really good. There's a fly in here. Uh. But anyways, like I said, I would definitely recommend you picking this up because it is really good uh, to get a backup because girl that feels good but anyways i've already wet my sponge and today i'm just going to be using my elf um total face sponge this sponge is really really good i like the way it applies my product on so my face is a little tacky now I'm going to show you two foundations that I usually go in with. So, one that I use like on a regular that I've been using for a while now is the Fit Me foundation. But, it's all nasty with all this foundation on it. But, anyway, I um, lately I've been using the Urban Coverage and this one does has, have SPF 50. So, I've been using this one a lot. To protect my skin now that it's summertime what i like to do is just streak it on there and then i like to go in with this brush and i got this brush from ebay i think i've had these brushes for a long time it came in like a set of 10 and i've been using these brushes for a really long time and i'm just I just like the way it packs on the product into my skin so I use this and I'll 
apply my foundation like that i don't always do it like that but when i want more of a full coverage i'll go ahead and do that and then um and then i'll use the sponge to like shear it out this is only like if i want a, a more full coverage look and then also sometimes i like to use it to make sure i get like every single area of my face because sometimes i feel like i miss certain spots but yeah this is basically what i do like when it comes to foundation I just like to flick it up down the center of my brows because I don't like to erase and sometimes I'll get a little carried away carried away and I'll like take one of my brows like smear one of my brows and then I have to go back and fix it but and then I like to go with whatever's left and just drag it down like that So now that that's settled in, I usually go for one layer. If I wouldn't want a really full coverage, then I'll go in with the second layer. But this is, I'm not gonna be doing like super glam today, like super glam makeup. So I am not going to do a second layer. I just love this foundation like I like that it gives you like a really a really pretty glow like it just makes your skin look so nice super pretty after that I go in with concealer so lately I've been using different concealers I've been switching them around sometimes I'll go in with the wet n wild photo focus concealer this is a really good affordable concealer Sometimes I'll go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer That one's more drying and then Another one of my favorites is the ColourPop no filter concealer. This is one of my favorites I like to use that a lot and then if I want more of a brightening and luminosity effect I'll use this one from Fenty so Girl you got options, but today I'm just gonna go in with the color pop because it's just the one that I've been using this past week and I like to do that and sometimes I'll take it down the nose in a little bit between the brows and then this part I do like to do with the sponge because I like to I like for it to look more natural when I am doing like a, when it's just a basic look I'll, I like to do it with a sponge. So you see how easy that was to blend in i love this concealer it blends in so seamlessly it looks so pretty and then lately i've been using this beauty shield translucent powder for a hot minute okay not that long but i've been using this since i got it so this stuff it's so like it's good the only thing is that um I don't know if it's um, I'm assuming it's from the SPF in the urban cover foundation but um, I think that this too um, kind of gives you like a white cast so this is not good for 
uh, flash photos. So if you take pictures and use the flash a lot, it's gonna bring out that cast and you're gonna see every imperfection. So then what I like to do is just go in with the sponge and I like to push it into the skin. You can all my little pelitos are coming out. Well, that's okay. I like that it has a sifter so you can close it off so that way it's not um, spilling even though I still have some in there. And then what I like to do too is also go in with like a more fluffier brush. Not like a fluffy brush but this one's a little dense like a little bit dense so i'll go in with a brush like this there goes my snapchat and then i like to just drag it down and then i'll just go in circles and then dust it all over And then I go in with the rest of my products. So I'll go in with my, I just had a brain fart. I'll go in with my contour shade, my blush, and my highlight. And then after I do all that, I go ahead and set on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. And then I will be back to show you to show you what it is that I spray my face with but I'll be back only thing that keeps me up comment down below if you know what that where that is from the first person to guess it I will send you um, a little gift so go ahead and comment down below if you know where that's from or who it's by so basically after I have already finished applying all my powders and everything I'll go ahead and go in with this cucumber spray from Mario Badesco it is in the wet and wild bottle just because like I've said in my previous videos that I like the spritzer on this so I'll go ahead and spritz it all over my face and then I'll go in with the elf sponge and just press it into the skin right now that your skin's a little bit damp i've already applied some highlight but when your skin's a little bit damp you can go ahead and go in with the highlight and just tap it onto the skin and it'll just intensify it that much more and it'll stick better to the areas you apply it to and i got this trick from hannah so she does this she'll spritz her face and then she'll go ahead and apply the highlighter where she wants it so good tip Hannah and then all I do is basically wait for it to dry or if you have one of these little fans here you can just dry your face girl <laughs> So that's basically it. This is my foundation routine. This is what I do on a regular as of lately because like I said before that I was just using the Maybelline Fit Me. Get your life together, girl. <laughs> so like I said earlier, the Fit Me is the one that is like my go-to foundation, but since I've discovered this baby right here, this is the one that I've been using as of lately. I have not posted a foundation routine before on my channel. So, I mean, you guys don't know what I would use before. But this foundation is my new 
go to daytime foundation just because it has the spf in it and because of the coverage it gives i love it it's pretty flawless if you ask me but yes go ahead and comment down below what you think and what are your favorite foundations and i'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video bye